Hey there. On the workbench today, we've got a small 600 VA Power Shield UPS. It has been sent in for recycling, presumably because the battery is bad, and I wanted to take a look at it before it got sent away. So I've taken the screws off, two at the back, four underneath, and this shell should just... Okay, it, it doesn't come off like that. There we go. So, very simple construction. Single board to handle the power electronics and a daughter board to handle the switch. We've got a single 7 amp hour 12 volt battery in here, Diamec, which is a J car brand, I think. We've got our big low frequency transformer there, which also does the AVR voltage regulation functionality. We have these big heat sinks up here with IRF 44Z MOSFETs attached to them. And I believe this is part of the inverter circuit. So these switch the power to the transformer so that it, it looks kind of like an AC waveform when it goes out the back to the computer. And you'll see around the back here, we have two Australian outlets and the input where AC goes in. So you'd plug your computer into one of these and if the AC here stopped coming, then it'd start drawing power from this backup battery. And you'll see it actually still works. It's very noisy though. You might be able to hear a slight hum. Anyway, you can tell because of the hum that it is a modified sine wave inverter, meaning that the waveform on the output isn't sinusoidal. It is more jagged. It has square type edges. You'll see it's all discrete components here. No microcontrollers as far as I can see. They're all op amps and stuff like that. And it's all through hole, no SMD construction here. Whoop, apologies for that. And there's a very simple battery charging system here. I believe this is an LM317. Ah, I, it won't focus. I think that might be an LM317 or something very similar. And all that does, it's a linear regulator and it takes a 15 volt source of DC from the transformer, or AC, through some rectifying diodes. And then it just burns off the excess power so that the battery charges to the correct 14 volts or whatever. Very simple system. Interesting to look at. Not much to do in terms of modifying slash upgrading. It's just too small. There's not enough heat sinking for these transistors to last more than a few minutes because it sits under this big case. So you'd think without any real airflow from a fan or something, they just get hot and break. And more interestingly, there is no fuse. This, the positive and negative wires connect directly to the board and to the battery. No fusing whatsoever. Thanks for watching. That's just a little tear down. Um, I expect to do a couple more of these, I've got another UPS on the bench over here. And you might notice there's a little bit of yellowing there. Um, yeah, that one got hot. So I'm quite curious to see what's inside there. I'm guessing the transformer has overheated. But we'll have a look. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.